Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungo back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you can hit that subscribe and enjoy the stuff that we post weekly we've got a patreon account called um diving in with funny and jesse and we have some amazing conversations which you guys don't want to miss you can find us on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and have a patreon account you guys can feel free to become members and will appreciate a big shout out to the people that continue subscribing and those that have already subscribed you guys are the best thank you for liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do to keep this channel alive we're very very grateful of so thank you very much i hope you guys are blessed a big shout out to the person that suggested this today i'm going to be reacting to the only time our prophet felt insulted so without wasting time let's get into the video i love you Allah. the prophet وسلم, was beyond insult because the way when he was engaging with this life comes of, from a moral a higher moral standard because if someone is easy to offend this shows there is something wrong in how they see themselves if we can only feel dignified when people respect us if we feel needy of people's good opinion of us that means we don't have a healthy sense of self that means you know we're going to be troubled every time someone thinks bad of us or someone says something bad about us that makes us captive to them. It makes us weak. That's a sign of weakness. The Prophet ﷺ, and if you contemplate the Quran, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you'll find the only time the Prophet ﷺ would feel bad and would feel personally hurt about something the mushrikeen do or say is that their words of disbelief. Their disrespect of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself. The fact that these people were heading to the hellfire. They could not see what was better for them. They could not really appreciate the danger that they were putting themselves in. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Don't let yourself, don't let your heart go after them feeling bad for them, should they take themselves to the hellfire. Maybe you're putting yourself under so much strain and pain because you're so concerned about them that they don't see what is good for them. That's the time the Prophet would feel personally hurt. And this is how the Muslims should be. Our sense of honor, our sense of dignity is not dependent on what other people think about us. Because if we act, if we function from this position, that means when people don't think well about us, we start questioning ourselves. We feel we are inferior unless they recognize us, unless they give us a license, un unless they give us some kind of verification, then we start to feel good about us and about ourselves. That's a very problematic situation to be in. A true believer, a Muslim, a true follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is beyond insult. Not because they don't have a dignity, but because they know where people are coming from. Because they know words mean nothing. Because the Muslim attach, attaches his heart or her heart only to the truth. And that's what matters. And people are going to say all sorts of things. At the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they called him names. They called him a majnoon, insane, mad. They called him a magician, sahir. They called him a kadab, a kadab liar, charlatan, an imposter. That's what they called him. They said he was possessed by jinn, by spirits. 
They called him, they, they said he was stealing from the people of the scripture and the people of the book. There's nothing new in what's happening now. And we shouldn't expect anything else. Well, there will be moments in life when this hatred is going to come out to the open. It will be so public and so right in our faces. But we should not be surprised because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ بَدَتِ الْبَغْضَاءُ مِنْ أَفْوَاهِهِمْ Hatred has become apparent. It's so visible on what they say in their words. But then Allah says, وَمَا تُخْفِي صُدُورُهُمْ أَكْبَرُ And what their hearts conceal, the hatred, the extent of the hatred that the hearts conceal is far greater than what, what you hear from them or what you get from them. There is more to that. But there's again, there's this, our world of, and our, our world of political correctness, being nice, being civilized, right? There's still there is a thin layer of that. They're, they're not willing to remove that completely because it destroys their system right from, right, right from its core. But we Muslims should not be surprised. And we should not come from a weak position of taking offense. We should be like the Prophet وسلم, beyond insults. It's a funny world that we live in. Many people are out there insulting us, insulting me, insulting you, and they want us to react. The, the, that m moment where we react, the minute we react, it gives them more power over us because they see that whatever they're saying is affecting us. That's why in this world, if someone insults you, just say thank you. They'll be taken aback because they're not, you're not lowering yourself to their level of uh, thinking and understanding stuff, just say thank you. And they'll be bothered by your thank you because they know that not even their words can cut your skin deep. I don't even understand why you want to, why would you would want to insult someone. People are only insulting because they want to make us feel inferior, like they know everything and we don't. They want us to make us feel like we're this tiny thing, like a speck of salt or whatever it is, which shouldn't be the case. Otherwise, when someone insults you, don't react. Just look at them and move on with life. Don't let them change your mood, change how, you're supposed, how your day is supposed to go. Leave them. Pray to God and move on with life and enjoy the rest of your day, week, month, year. And that's how life should be. I don't know what you guys think about um, the message in this video. And a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.